U-turns on Instagram so that you would watch a tutorial if I posted one. So here's my tutorial. It's on this kind of like look. This is going exactly how I thought it would go if I filmed a video. My dog's barking. But I've already started out by applying this moisturizer. Oh frick, I gotta do like the guru thing. Yeah. This lip balm. And that primer. So, this is my makeup tutorial. Y'all asked for this, okay? Y'all asked for this. Alright, so I'm going to take the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Medium 2. I'm on a self tan right now. That's why I look like my biological father worked for Willy Wonka in his chocolate factory. But we're just going to kind of like chat and do our faces, I suppose. As you can see, like a girl got acne. Acne. I'm gonna be kind of like putting this stuff on. Honestly, like foundation's not my forte. Like I don't really enjoy doing face makeup. Don't ever forget to go down your neck, ladies. Look at that butt chin. Thanks, my dad's side. We love genetics. Okay. So there's foundation. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. I'm gonna take my. Tarte Shape Tape and Mary Beth, you just snapchatted me. What's up, girly? And Light Medium Honey. Honey, honey. And then I also put it on my lids as a primer. I have primer potions and stuff, but it does the same thing. Y'all can't convince me it doesn't. I'm gonna do it. I just put it under my eyes and on top of my eyelids. Just kind of smoosh it around. I should probably be in frame when I tell y'all instructions. I'm gonna be taking the Airspun powder and I use translucent extra cover. I never do your makeup in the shirt you're wearing out if you're gonna do your makeup like me, which is. A lot of powder. I don't bake though. I don't mean to be a conspiracy theorist, but I don't really see a difference between if I do or don't bake. So, now that I literally have powder everywhere, I look like a Coke baby. I'm gonna take some of this RCMA powder under my eyeballs. outrageous I really like have such bad eyesight I don't even know if this is in both this is a brush that I got on Amazon for $1.75 because I did have an Anastasia Beverly Hills one I'm using the Mario de Bessel I don't know how to say his name um yeah I had an Anastasia Beverly Hills but the freaking spoolie came off of it and I was like what the heck so like if I can get the same dang thing for a dollar seventy-five, is that even a question? So I'm gonna show you all my favorite brow product I've been using, and it's this NYX eyebrow gel. I have mine in the color brunette. Like take it and like kind of like push it into the brush. And then I just kind of like, I just kind of like draw the shape that I want. I don't really, I'm not made out for this stuff. I just kind of like follow what my eyebrow already looks like. Okay. 
So now that I have like the generic shape that I'm going for, we're gonna hit him with a, hit him with a, hit him with a. It takes a lot of product out of the front right here. And so I just feel like it makes it not look natural because it certainly doesn't look natural, but makes it not look as crazy. My girls that I see do their makeup, a huge reason why I feel like your makeup isn't blending is because y'all don't know about a neutral tone transition shade. So my favorite is Safe Word, and this is a Sonia Cashew br brush that I got so long ago. And so I'm just gonna take some on it and then just tap it off. And then if y'all can see whenever I look down this area, obviously is my crease but I'm just gonna follow that natural line I'm actually gonna take this palette by Colourpop which is called the I think I love you and I'm gonna take in this color right here and I love this for under my brow bone because it's mostly matte but it has like the teeniest little bit of sh shimmer I was gonna say sugar Take, you know, again, a brown kind of color. We can never be blended enough, ladies. Blending is the key to life. You don't know your answer to your math question? Blend. Blend. Feeling this color right here. This is in the shade My Type. I ain't got no type. Pigmented shadow is the only thing that I like. I gotta check the price. Cause I live with my mama and I don't know where I was going with that. Let's go with Tell Me Is That Deja Vu. Cause you want me and I want you. Tell me, is that deja vu? And then, yep, you knew it. We're gonna go back with a neutral tone brown, and we're just gonna start to blend the top. So that it just looks seamless all the way through. That it's not like... We don't want to be like... Um, the family putting dolls on Chitty Chitty Bing Bing. Spinning around on this music box. Dun 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 dun. I don't remember the words. Back with Deja Vu. And gently start pressing it because we're not really going to blend this part out. Because like the color's already been blended. So this is just kind of more to like... re-highlight that area that you've done pull that down from my waterline as well I feel like it's not showing up on camera at all um I'm bored with this look I think it's boring I'm not about it so I'm gonna take this like neon gold yellowy gold right here what's up what she know Life is too short for dull eyeshadow looks, my friends. We do everything we can, except diet and exercise, to get rid of that double chin. Okay, and then now I'm gonna be taking Hula Light. Oh, what's that word again? Blend. What's that word again? Blend. What's that word again? What's that word again? What's that word again? Blend. And whatever products left on top of it will just kind of help to 
seamlessly blend. Take a line with the ever famous great lash because it gives you great lashes. So I never filmed an outro, so this is my outro. It's a few hours later. Um, text me if you watch this. Let me know if you want another one. I know that this was kind of weird, and I don't really know how to edit, but uh, 